All right, guys, it's Kenny Moore here, a.k.a. the Dirt Bandit. Man, I'm on the original railroad track. Comes from Corinth, Mississippi through Iukon on down to Alabama. The Union and Confederate traveled through here. So I know back up here in this high spot, there's going to be some history in there, and I'm going to find it. So... This is another adventure I'm going to take you on. We'll see how it turns out. It's hot. You get plenty of water, vitamin water. Always take, hydrate, man. I hydrate the night before I even go. So I'm good and ready to go. So I'll see you at the hole. Catch you later. All right, guys. Dirt Bandit here with you. Just reconning this flat spot up here on this hill above these railroad tracks. Got a uh, signal right here. You can see that. 82, 66, 82, so it's maybe a couple of signals. All right. Pinpoint it. All right. About right there. Try to this pad, anyway. Bear with me. I'm about to get my, uh, my GoPro, so I've got to bring a new world into the viewing. I need to dig this here. I do dig live every, every now and then. It's just hard with my setup, but uh, I do it when I can. So, uh, apologize for the shakiness. Listen to that. If I don't get you excited, man. Let's check it out. What is it? Tripod, right? I'll go get that. Getting close. Uh oh. Well now, hang on, all right, well, all of that for Camp Lead, but as you well know, this is a recon mission, and that's the first clue. So I got Camp Lead up here on this hill, which means I'm about to get excited. All right, good deal, good deal. Cool, cool. All right, I'm going to head up through here. And I'll catch you at the next hole, man. Got to get excited about digging sieve. All right, guys. Dirt bandit here. Yeah, it's pretty hot. I'm going to thick. Look how thick it is. I got back here. Look at this stuff. Just heard a train go by way down that track. I'm digging these holes. I'm popping out. I mean, I don't know what this says. I thought maybe it was a back of a pocket watch. But then, hell, it's got a design on it. I don't think it's back of a pocket watch, so. It's got a really neat design on it. I'm finding red brick everywhere. It could have been a little hut back here. I'm telling you, pulled up an old bottle a while ago so this could get interesting this is going to take longer than this evening but i'm excited about it i'll tell you that i, I got way back here i'm probably pushing three miles 
from the vehicle. It's hot. Also, saw two coyotes going through right over there. I'm sure they're, yeah, they're probably checking me out, but they best be careful. All right, I'm going to get in here because there's something down in there, but I've got to keep an eye out, so I need more than one hand. I'll get back with you. Catch you later. All right. Back again here with you. Got to get out of here. It's getting late. Still got coyotes everywhere. Crazy. Anyway, just got in here. I dug this hole. And that, my friends, is a cannonball frag. Father, I get back here, I found a button. I didn't film it. I will show you later. Man, cannonball frag. All right, digging seven, Mississippi. Catch you later. about a four mile journey back there man I got in there was like a couple of coyotes I saw them circling me before I know it they were like six and then there was even more could never really get them on video but I'm trying to dig and hunt and at the same time keep an eye out for my back I, I got stuff to take care of them but still it's, it's awesome man I, I love that stuff but uh, I'll show you a wrap up I didn't find too much found some camp lead found a button I did find what looks to be a, a watch back on a pocket watch. It has a looks like a crawdad carved into it. So it's pretty neat, man. I love that stuff. So I'll catch you next time. We'll get a good video going. Till then, catch you later. All right, Dirt Bandit here. Um, just doing a little wrap up from today's hunt. I got up there and uh, in the woods way back. Um, Turns out a bunch of coyotes around me all day. I was, I was pretty cool, but uh, nerve-wracking all the same. Uh, just to show you, uh, you know, I did get a couple of bullets. I didn't get them on film. Um, I got pretty hot there and was kind of watching my back a little bit. Uh, should have filmed those, but really just wasn't in a position to do so. This is a piece I was talking about. I don't know if you can see it with this lighting. There is a lobster. This is shaped as a seashell. It's brass. Uh, it's got a lobster on it, which tells me, hmm, since I was close to Union Camp, it, it would be something to come from the north, right? If you've seen something like that, let me know. Uh, this is a fuse cap. It screws on over the fuse, actually, on a cannonball. I thought that was pretty cool. Cannonball frag. All right, and the fuse itself. Got to clean it up. That is a fuse for the cannonball. Oh, and also a general service cuff button. Uh, got that right before I got down to the creek. Actually, right before I found the uh, cannonball frag. But I mean, I had six to eight coyotes all around me, so I get a little nervous there. So I have a knife out and different stuff. But anyway, uh, I get excited over the rush of that stuff anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, I just wanted to wrap up that and um, I will uh, catch you at the next hunt. Catch you later.